Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manjana Chandraya. Today's session we'll be learning how to calculate date and time difference between two dates. So it's very helpful function. And if you are new to this channel, do subscribe, hit the bell icon for more interesting videos and learnings. So have a start date and the end date. Say example, we are, there is a project started on May 15th and ended on May 16th. We need to find the number of days passed, how many hours it has taken after one day, how many hours, how many minutes, how many seconds has, take, has taken to complete this project. So we need to get a result like this. So everything, see here it says for, uh, it has 78 days gone and 14 hours has passed, 48 minutes and 4 seconds. To get, to get this, we need to use two functions. So before that, we'll copy this one first here. Just we'll keep it here so that we need to know the format. So for that, we, for using this to get this, we need to we'll be using int and text formulas. These are the form. These two formulas we'll try to use and club to get the result of these things. Right? Let's delete this first. Let's use the int first. So, what is int? INT what it does is it will go into check how many days has passed between these two dates. Say example if I use INT open bracket say select this end date you should start the start with the end date minus the start date. Always remember start with the end date then the minus the uh, star, start date enter. So it says one day. So let's say let me change this day to 17th. So obviously it should show two days. Right, it is 15th and 17th. So it shows two days here. So we are able to get the number of days. So it says one days. So this days I we need to add it. For that we can use int days minus this close. Then you can do a concatenating or you can use and function to club the we need to add this days as the text. So use a and start with a double quote since we are adding a text give a space why space i'll just let you know days right and and put the double quote close the double quote hit enter so now it is two days right so since we need to have a space between the two and days so just add a space for that here after the double quote just add a space Yes, now you can see these two days. So we need we got the first part of the thing. So we got the this part, right? So we need to find the rest of the one hours. So that for that you will use the text function. So text is what you can use text open bracket, same thing, end date minus the start date, comma. You can use double quote H for hours again semicolon m for seconds semicolon s for seconds oh, sorry minutes and seconds sorry use the double quote hit enter now you can see let's use that function here so we already got this function we'll just copy uh, we'll paste it somewhere here so that we we need this again let's it have it here so let's put the text function here text so uh, the end date minus the start date comma you start with double quote h for hours m for minutes again semicolon sec s for sec uh, seconds just close the bracket it now you can see let me change it to 17 so it is now shows 1 hour 42 minutes between these two dates so let's just change it to f uh, 5 o'clock right now it says 2 hours 42 minutes so we able to find the uh, 2 hours 14 uh, we, we able to got the number of days using the int in text we are able to get the hours and four, 4 minutes and these things so here it says hrs minutes and seconds you can keep it like this or you can you can leave it all like this so let's say we have the formula this is the first formula let's copy this first or we let's let's put that again okay so that you you're not getting confused int end date minus 
the start date so and so we need to get the days so double quote space days close the double quote right again you put and for the text formula so text again you select the end date minus the start date comma you can use double quote h for minutes so hours minute for m again semicolon s close the double quote now you can see since i have not given the space so it is taking it says two days two two hours 42 minutes four seconds so here we need to get it says hours minutes something like this it looks neat here whereas here it is be again confusion so again it's it's not good so what we can do for that let's delete this one we'll go to the formula again in the formula so now we have just added here right we'll go ahead and remove this for h use double h close the double quote for h again start with the double quote give a space since we need to get a space between the r's just type it as r's again add a double quote again start with the double quote m close the double quote again open double quote minutes just type minutes close the double quote again start with a double quote second s yes, for seconds close the double quote for that again we need a uh, seconds s yes, yes close the double quote and add three double quotes because we are getting hr minutes and seconds so add one more one two two more and close close the bracket so now you see it has taken but there is no space so we can add that space also so space is different is in minutes so we need to get so hours also after hours there should be a space so after hours in this here i can i just add a space so again minutes add a space for minutes add a space for second also add prior and also the last so here for the and again there is no space so okay. for days you can add a space here so just add a space now you can see Two days, two hours, forty-two minutes, four seconds. Same thing. Fourteen days, sixteen hours, and uh, sixteen hours, forty-two, forty-two minutes, and four four seconds. So very simple. So uh, let's try using it again. Probably, if you are confused, we'll start putting the entire entire the entire function. Int end end date minus start date right close the bracket add end for the number of days add the start with double code space days again give a space days and text function open bracket again you select end date minus the start date close the bracket sorry yeah, yeah. Don't close the bracket because still the function is not completed. Comma. Start with the double quote. Add alphabet H for the hours. Close the double quote. Again, start the double quote. Give a space for the hours. H R S hours. Give a space again. Close the double quote. Again, start with double quote. For the minutes M. Close the double quote. Again, I start with the double quote space m i n s minutes minutes space double quote. Again, start with the double quote for seconds. Yes. Close the double quote. Start with the double quotes again. Space seconds space. Since we are using three h, uh, we need to give three double quotes to close because we are using h r h i m and s. So again, three. Hit enter. See, it's very simple. So you need to split by using the int days, and you are able to get the result. It's, it's very neat, and uh, uh, you know how many days has passed, how many minutes, how many seconds. So only thing is, uh, uh, keep these uh, dates constant. Like uh, you can space special. Don't keep it as in a formula. 
and then date because if you use now formula to get the date and time so it will it will go to change later 10 minutes or 15 minutes again it will go to change so uh, you can use this function to get the result it's very simple and very easy to use just use these two function club using and function you get your result i hope uh, this function was helpful if you do if you do think uh, it's uh, helpful please subscribe hit the bell icon for more interesting videos and learnings and do like the video and uh, thank you for your time and uh, happy learning